Hello everyone, now we will be starting with mycology. So mycology, we must be knowing that mycology is the study of, mycology is the study of fungi, okay? So what is fungi? Fungi is an eukaryotic protista. You have to remember this, that it is an eukaryotic protista. Then its cell wall is made up of chitin, mananan, and polysaccharides. So what what is cell wall made up of? Chitin, manan, and polysaccharides. Okay. Then cytoplasmic membrane. Its cytoplasmic membrane is made up of sterols. So there is a bacteria whose cytoplasm is made up of sterol. What is it? That is myco. Plasma. You have to remember this. This is very important. Mycoplasma. Bacteria, sterol, mycoplasma. Okay. So sterol, uh, this uh, fungi, fungi cytoplasm is made up of what? Sterol. You need to remember that. Okay. Next. So the fungi possesses true nuclei. Okay. True nuclei. Then it contains nuclear membrane nuclear membrane and it contains paired chromosomes okay these are the three things true nuclei nuclear membrane and paired chromosomes so then um, the simplest type of fungus is unicellular budding yes so this you have to remember that simplest type of fungus consa hai unicellular budding yeast okay so now what is hypha and what is mycelium let's see so hypha are elongated tubular structure okay so hypha are elongated tubular structure so you can see this is a tubular structure right this is a hypha tubular structure okay this is a hypha and mycelium is a tangled mass of hypha so these are this is mycelium so these are the tangled mass see see this are the tangled mass of hypha so mycelium is tangled mass of hypha okay fine the next hypha can be septate or aseptate hypha can be septate that means it may have septum or it may be septate or aseptate okay fine then this classification now let's go to the classification of fungi so fungi can be classified as true yeast this is true yeast so what is the example cryptococcus neoformans cryptococcus neoformans is the example of true yeast this comes as a mcq in your exam what is the example of true yeast so true yeast is true yeast is cryptococcus neoform neoformans then yeast like number two is yeast like yeast like not yeast yeast like it is candida albicans okay then mold mold is rhizophus and aspergillus okay then diform dimorphic what is dimorphic dimorphic is at seven at 37 degree celsius it exists as yeast and at 22 to 25 degrees celsius it exists as mold so it exists in two forms at 37 degrees celsius it exists as yeast and at 22 to 25 degrees celsius it exists as mold okay now what is this this is an yeast okay so this classification i have described here according to morphology now we'll be describing each of them okay so this is classification depending on cell morphology okay so what is this number one yeast or true yeast okay so what so what are the characteristic it is spherical or ellipsoidal in shape so you can see these are spherical or ellipsoidal in shape fine it reproduces by budding okay it does budding 
an example is cryptococcus neoformans what is the example of yeast you have to remember this yeast cryptococcus neoformans fine next next is what yeast like so what is the example of yeast like is candida albicans okay sorry yeast like is candida albicans so let's study about this it exists partly as yeast okay and partly as elongated cells that means it has pseudo hypha see this is the pseudo hypha present pseudo hypha present in yeast the example is example is candida albicans candida albicans so candida albicans it causes various uh, diseases various symptoms oral candidiasis and in other this uh, penile candidiasis vaginal candidiasis in nail also it causes candidiasis then uh, cutaneous candidiasis then invasive candidiasis okay and oropharyngeal candidiasis so candida candida albicans is an yeast like organism candida albicans is an candida albicans is an yeast like organism okay please remember this now this what is this this is molds molds or molds okay so it contains true mycelia reproduced by spores reproduced by spores an example is rhizophus rhizophus and aspergillus so this picture is of rhizophus okay this is rhizophus so we have been talking now the classification of of kiske bare mein baat kar rahe the the classification of fungi number 1 we talk yeast okay example is cryptococcus okay the number 2 yeast like yeast like mein aage aapka candida albicans fine number 3 we talked about molds molds mein aage aapka rhizophus and aspergillus okay number 4 now number 4 is dimorphic fungi means dimorphic fungi means what di means what two to it exists in two forms okay so at 37 degree celsius it exists as yeast and at 22 to 25 degree celsius it exists mold as molds or molds okay so now the example example of dimorphic fungi can be remembered as hsbc p square hsbc is a bank right so you can remember by that there is hdfc also bank hsbc also is there so you have to remember by hsbc so h for histoplasma so i am talking about the disease here histop histoplasma causes histoplasmosis S for sporotrichosis, B for blastomycosis, C for coccidomycosis. See, remember, this is not cryptococcus. This is coccidiodomycosis. Okay, P two, P for paracoccidomycosis and P for penicillosis. Okay, so this is the example of your dimorphic fungi. Now, classification based on sexual spores. So zygomycetes, then ascomycetes, then basidomycetes, and deuteromycetes. So zygomycetes example is rhizophus, and the sexual spore is zygospore. Then ascomycetes has ascospores. Okay, basidomycetes has basidospore, and deuter deuteromycetes has no sexual spore. This is also known as fungi imperfecti okay deutero mycetes is also known as fungi imperfecti okay fine 
Now this is the picture of a phycomycetes. This has non-septate, non hypha and obtuse angle. So remember phycomycetes has obtuse angle. Okay. Fine. And the spores, sexual spores are zygospores. Asexual spores are sporangia. Next, this is an ascomycetes. Ascomycetes, the sexual spore is ascus. Esco, sexual spore is uh, ascospores. And inside ascospores are present ascus. Okay? Fine. Then, basidiomycetes, sexual spore on a basidium. So, sexual spores are present on basidium. And fungi, imperfect, imperfect, no sexual phases. Deuteromycetes. So fungi imperfecta is also known as deuteromycetes and it does not have any sexual phases. Okay. So now let's see what are the sexual spores, sexual spores and the asexual spores. Okay. Sexual spores can be remembered as zap. So zygospore. Ascospore, Basidiospore, okay, and asexual spore can be remembered as ABC, Arthrospore, then B for Blastospore, and C for Chlamydospore, okay, so these are the sexual and asexual spores. Now identification, how do we identify fungi? So by colony and fungal, fungal morphology. Morphology se hum identify karte hai, okay? We identify by morphology. Then we identify by rapidity of growth, how fast it grows. Then we can also identify fungi by the color. We can identify by the morphology of the colony obverse and pigmentation reverse so this you have to just remember nothing to understand okay start preparing for the neat mds from your home dr pranab academy of dental sciences online classes for all first second third and final year students neat mds online test series unlimited practice and highest quality teaching affordable pricing download the app now now fungal stains so what are the stains? So first stain is, I have not written here, that is wet mount with 10% potassium hydroxide. Then you have got LPCB, that is lactophenol, cotton blue. Then you have GMS, that is gomory, methamine, sulfur. PAS, periodic acid, shift. Hematoxylin and eosin. This is the most favorite in pathology. So pathology is pink and blue, right? Pink and blue. So pink and blue is due to this. So eosin gives pink color and hematoxylin gives your blue color. Now then Elsian blue. Okay. Then Muserimant stain. Then we have got Indian ink stain. Okay. And then Calcofluor white. This is a fluorescent stain. So you remember fluor. Fluor is fluorescent. Okay. You have to remember this. So we will study now in detail. So this is this is the picture shown in wet mount wet mount wet mount with potassium hydroxide this is how we see with wet mount with potassium hydroxide 10 percent uh, potassium hydroxide we can see the fungal elements so see you can see the fungal elements here these fungal elements are seen here okay i'll show you with the pointer mm. So these fungal elements are shown here. Okay. Okay. These are the fungal elements. Now this LPCB. What is LPCB? I told you. Lactophenol. Cotton. Blue. Lactophenol. Lactophenol. Cotton. Blue. So it gives blue color to the fungi. Blue color. Okay. And this is aspergillus. Aspergillus fumigatus. See, this, these are like fumes, right? So, this is Aspergillus fumigatus. Okay. 
and this is given by blue color is given by lactophenol cotton bloom okay then this is fungal slide culture so we also do slide culture for slide culture for fungi okay next gomori methamine silver stain so gomori methamine silver stain is gives what color it gives black color okay it stains it stains green i'll tell you this first you must know which which organisms give give gomori methamine uh, is used for uh, um, in which organism this gomori methamine silver is used used for pneumocystis carni or jirovecchi okay then it stains green okay you can see the green color then trophozoites are stained you have to remember that trophozoites are stained green whereas cysts are stained black okay so you have to remember this trophozoite stains green and cysts are stained black why does cyst are stained black because it has glycogen okay then what is pneumocystis kerni kab hota hai when when does it cause any disease what does this cause it causes pneumonia it causes pneumonia in hiv patients okay with cd4 count less than 200 okay and drug of choice for it is cotrimoxazol okay fine then this is calflower calcoflor white staining this is fluorescent so you can see here this is fluorescent staining now what is the culture culture media used for fungi this is sda sabarant dextrose agar we use its ph is 5.6 approximately 5.4 to 5.6 okay so this is the universal universal fun, fungal culture media okay then this is zapec docs medium is also there cornmeal agar is also there and cyclohexamide is an antibiotic it is used as a selective agent that makes media selective for fungus okay now classification of uh, fungi so, so based on location on the body part which it affect body part which it affects okay on the body part which it affects so First, we have got superficial mycosis that affects superficial layers of skin involved. That uh, superficial mycosis only the superficial layer of skin. Okay. Example: dermatophytes. Dermatophytes mean dermatophytes mean dermato means skin, right? Okay. Then subcutaneous mycosis. Then subcutaneous mycosis is skin and subcutaneous tissues. Okay. So you can remember by the Pneumonic M R C S M for mycetoma, subcutaneous mycetoma, rhinosporidosis, chromoblastomycosis, and sporotrichosis. So again, mycetoma, rhinosporidosis, chromoblastomycosis, and sporotrichosis. Okay. Now systemic mycosis. It involves visceral involvement is present, and its example is dimorphic fungal. This is dimorphic means this HSBC P square, but exception sporotrichosis is not included. So HSBC S is not included, only HBC P square. Okay. Now opportunistic mycosis. What are the opportunistic mycosis that are number one candida, cryptococcus, zygomycetes, mycosis, aspergillosis. Penicillosis, pneumocystis, and fusarosis. Okay. 
the dimorphic fungal disease what are the dimorphic fungal disease we have talked about before at 37 degrees celsius it exists as yeast at 22 to 25 degree it exists as mold so how you remember the 25 carat we say 24 carat gold right this is 25 carat mold okay so dimorphic fungal diseases are histoplasmosis sporotrichosis blastomycosis coccidomycosis paracoxidomycosis and penicillosis okay so we will stop here for this class next in our next class we will talk about in detail about the superficial mycosis about the disease caused by the fungi okay so thank you very much for patiently listening to the class thank you very much